Hello, Nick Jones here for the third episode in the Intermediate Ab Series. Please read the disclaimer before you get going. Feel free to pause it. Also, I use this as my warm-up before I exercise. I don't recommend that for everyone. If you want a full warm-up, check out the description below. And apart from that, the equipment you're going to need today is just the mat and your body weight. We're going to do an oblique focus today, okay? With a little twist to make it harder if you want to. Apart from that, let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna start with left ankle to right knee. Then we're gonna leave with the right elbow across to the left knee. Okay, so you're gonna crunch up straight up to start with, then crunch up and across second time, bring the right elbow towards the left knee. Big pause, big squeeze at the top. The slower you go on this, the harder it is. Chin away from the chest, head looking straight up at the ceiling. Big pause, big squeeze, breathe out. So I'm gonna give you an option on this oblique workout to make it it's hard Halfway or there. kind of even intermediate as you like. So we're gonna do three moves twice through on each side. So you can either do it back to back on the same side or you can alternate sides per three moves. That might make a bit more sense Ten in seconds. a minute. Okay. So again, just get that big squeeze across the angle, big pause, big squeeze, fire up the abs. Rest. Next move, you're gonna lie onto your left side. Left arm directly in front of your head at 90 degree angle. You're gonna stretch right out and then reach up for the toe. Let's go. Your option is to bend the legs in as you crunch in like that. Or if you wanna make it harder, keep them as straight as you can. Nice big pull squeeze at the top. Let's go, go, go. Stretch right out, big squeeze at the top. I call these side V-sits. So again, the first move, we're working the right side of our abs. This move, again, we're working the right side again. The next Halfway move, there. we're gonna be working the right side again. Then you have the option to work the left side or work the right hand side again to make it harder. So stretch right out, big pause, big squeeze at the top. And Ten keep seconds. it going, good as you can. 10 seconds before the next move, it's gonna be a side plank dip. So we're gonna actually roll over onto your other side. Okay, so we're going to finish there now. Roll onto your other side so your right elbow is on the floor, directly underneath your shoulder, and then your knees are going to be on the floor as well. And what we're going to do is we're not going to go all the way down. We're going to go hips up to the top of the movement, and you're just going to pulse the top 5% of the move. Again, we are working the right hand side of the abs. Okay. Excellent. If you feel this in your shoulder at all, feel free to put your second hand down on the floor by your other hand, and just to uh, take some of the pressure off that right shoulder. Halfway Again, there. Again, look at your grounded hand if you want to take the pressure off your neck at all. Apart from that, just try and squeeze those abs harder and harder with every little pulse. If you want, you can slow it down, just to feel that kind of squeeze that a little seconds. bit more if you're struggling to feel that. But again, so we're just hammering that right hand side. Then you can either switch to the left side, then back to the right, then back to the left. Or you can do what I'm doing. I'm gonna stay on the right hand side. So I'm gonna go for the harder option, left ankle to right knee, and then right elbow to left knee. If you wanna make it a bit easier, cross your legs the other way. So you go right ankle to left knee, and then left elbow over towards your right knee. I hope that makes sense. But uh, I'm taking the harder options where I'm going to do all six moves on one side first. Then I'm going to switch the sides. Excellent. And just keep going. So just crunch up once, then crunch Halfway up again there. and across. Again, we're not pulling on the head. Notice I'm not dragging my head up. I'm just gently supporting it. And it's my rib cage that's doing the moving. So I'm shortening that piece of string between your sternum and pelvis. And then Ten I'm doing seconds. it again as I reach up for the knee. Again, I'm starting, I'm staying on the right side, so I'm still Best. working the right hand side of my abs, but it's up to you, you can switch to the left. So I'm rolling back onto my left hand side, and we're gonna do the same again. So my left arm out at 90 That's degree good. angle. And what we're gonna do, there's your option, you can bend your legs if you want on the side V-sit, or keep them as straight as you can. Stretch right out, crunch at the top. Big pause, big squeeze, notice how I'm pausing and squeezing at the top. Again, if you're doing, if you're alternating sides, make sure you're facing the other way, so you're working the left-hand side of your abs. 
Trust me, right now, you should be knowing which there. side of your abs you're working, okay? So if you're still working your right side, you're going for the harder option. If you want to go for the easier option, you should feel it on your left side. You should be on, you should be facing the other way. 10 seconds. Up next, keep it going. So big stretch out. So that's it. When you're working your abs, what you want to do, you want to stretch, you want to squeeze. In fact, when you're working any muscle, you want to stretch it, you want to squeeze it. Now, the final move for the right side for me, I'm going to go right elbow, Let's right go. knee on the floor and then just lift my hips up into the air to the top position and I'm just going to pulse the top 5% of the movement and just try and burn those abs. My abs were screaming at this point. Two rounds on the same side, pretty tough going. Especially if you're getting that mind-muscle connection right. And that's again, it's a focus of Halfway this series. There. It's not just about how easy you can do these ab workouts. It's about how hard can you make these workouts. The harder you make it by tensing those abs harder and harder to the point where they're going to cramp, Ten seconds. the better it's working those ab muscles. Rest. Okay, finish there. Now I'm going to go to my left side now, okay, because I've gone for the harder option. So I'm going to go right ankle to left knee, and then I'm going to go Let's left go. elbow towards the right knee. So I've now switched sides, I'm now working the left hand side, even though I could feel my right side still working at this point as it's taken such a hammering. But if you went for that easier option, you're back to the right hand side, so you're going right, left, right, left. There. So if you're doing the easier option, your left ankle is on your right knee and your right elbow is going towards your left knee. And just keep going. Ten so we're working the obliques, these are the muscles on the side of the abs. And I find really hitting the obliques is one of the best ways to get my abs to come through because it really hits that kind of line of where, where your kind of abs finish and your obliques start. So now I'm rolling onto my right side, so I'm now working my left side still. Let's go. Same as the last round. Stretch right out, big squeeze at the top, reach, try and touch those toes, big pause, big squeeze again. If you want the easier option, keep your knees bent and bring them towards your chest. The side V sits a good one, this one. Certainly works. Big pause, big squeeze at the top. Way there. Stretch right out, squeeze at the top notes and try to spend as little time at the bottom of the move as I can, as much time at the top of the move. And that's it, just leave it going. So you've just got to repeat what we did on the seconds. right hand side. And just keep working through it. Okay, onto your left side now, left elbow, left knee on the floor, lift the hips up into the air and we're doing that side plank Let's pulse, go. we're trying to squeeze those abs, we're trying to burn them out. Excellent. And uh, yeah, so this is the harder option, just keep doing whichever one you're doing. If you need pauses at any point, feel free to take pauses and then jump back in when you feel you can. If you're doing the harder option like me, this one, you know, you'll really be starting to feel the abs, but it's the Halfway next there. round that will really get them. And that's it. At this point, I actually slowed Ten it down seconds. slightly just so I could feel that squeeze that little bit more. Just really hitting the side of the abs. Good stuff, right, final three moves. So I'm doing the harder option, so I'm going left hand side again in my abs that I'm working. So right ankle Let's to left go. knee, and then left elbow over towards the right knee. And just keep working through it. Big crunch, so two stage crunch, you crunch straight up to start with, then you twist and crunch up a little higher. Big pause, big squeeze at the top of the move. Big pause, big squeeze, breathe out. 
flex the bicep, uh, the bicep, flex the abs there. as hard as you can. Again, if you're liking seconds. these intermediate videos and you feel you want a bit more of a challenge, either just play this one through again or do a different intermediate ab exercise routine Rest. or go on to my advanced series. I'm sort of working for 12 minutes plus. Right, final move then. Final two moves. We're doing the side D sits first, lying on the right hand side, right hand out to stabilize it at 90 degree angle. Then try and get as much of the body off the ground as you can. Big pause, big squeeze at the top of the movement. And just keep it going. Halfway there. Big pause, big squeeze at the top. Starting to get harder now towards the end. That left hand side of your abs, if you're doing the harder option, should be screaming right now. Rest. Final move then, the side plank dip. Knees and elbow on the floor, so I'm doing left elbow, left knee on the floor for that harder option where I'm doing two rounds per side. And just lift the hips up off the floor and just pulse the top 5% of the movement. If you notice my head is looking down at my grounded hand. This takes a bit of pressure off the neck, but remember if you want to take a bit of pressure off the shoulder, have both hands down on the floor and do the same move. If you're liking these ab series, feel free to subscribe to the channel. It really helps support it. Same with liking the video, sharing, comment belowing. Really helps me uh, keep the channel going and uh, helps me kind of provide more in the future. 10 seconds. Well done. So right, there we go. Big finish, good stuff. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to do our oblique stretching. We're going to go one knee on the floor, one foot on the floor. So we've got left foot on the floor, right knee on the floor. Lean in as far as you can, get a stretch in the hip flexor, then take a, uh, the right hand up towards the ceiling as high as you can, then over your head, suck in the tummy, you should feel a nice stretch down the obliques. Same again, swap it over, right foot on the floor, left knee on the floor. Lean in to get a bit of a stretch in the hip flexor. Take the left hand up towards the ceiling, high as you can. Lean over the head, big suck in of the tummy. And you should get a nice stretch in those abs. And that'll do for us today. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks very much.